Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, it's been a year since I made my last video. Um, and I thought, let's make another. Uh, so I don't want to become an onion themed channel, but uh, it, it seems like it's going to be that way. Um, that I'm going to keep making onion related videos. Actually, I think this is probably my last onion related video. So if you don't like onions, stay tuned. There will be un onion unrelated content. Today we're going to make... So when people make like sandwiches or burgers, a lot of the time what they like to do is make uh, caramelized onions. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. What do we need? Obviously you need a pan, you need a uh, heat, right? Uh, but you also need onions, which is kind of a shocker. So I want you guys to follow along with me. Let's go over to the onion section of your house and you're gonna to wanna to grab a little onion. That is a per, look at this. Look at this, that is a perfect onion. I don't know what that looks like in the camera because uh, I, can't, I can't see. I just see the lens. I'm looking at the lens. Uh, but this is a beautiful onion. And since we're making caramelized onions, we're also going to need some caramel syrup. Uh, but I think if you have little caramel candies, they're like the little square ones, that should work okay. So I'm actually crying right now because... Actually, it's, it's actually a subconscious thing uh, because when you cry, when you chop the onions, they're actually just really mean to you. Uh, but you can't hear it out loud. It's like telepathic. They send you just negative thoughts. And that's why you cry when you eat. Like the, <laughs> oh my God. Guys, I, I don't I don't like the onions. They're hurting my eyes. Uh, they're actually hurting my feelings first and foremost. They're very mean. Um, so that's why I'm going to be eating them. Um, eat your enemies. That's that's t tidbit. Now we're just going to um, just throw it all in there. Um, have the onion. I have the caramel. Should probably put a little bit of oil or something in the pan. Take out from off the spoon. There we go. Uh, so now we'll just let that melt in there. So actually, a lot of people may look see what I'm doing here and say that is very um, inefficient. Is that the word? Inefficient. Inefficient. Not efficient. Um, and you know, they're probably right. Um, like I said at the beginning, this isn't an onion uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so if you are looking for the correct onion use, uh, do not look here. Okay, so they have actually just softened up perfectly. We're gonna add the caramel in now and then we'll see where it goes from there. So I'm not exactly sure how much caramel I'm going to be adding to this. Um, I actually don't know if this caramel is even safe for consumption anymore, but uh, I guess we'll see. Okay. So right now I can already smell it. Caramel. And it actually doesn't smell that bad. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. And that's my fire alarm. Oh no. So that's it. A uh, very simple recipe. Let's go over to the testing table and see how it is. So a little bit of a different angle for the testing table, but I can assure you, same table, okay? So let's actually get right into this. Um, as you can see, it's kind of slimy. Um, but that's kind of what you expect from caramelized onions. 
Um, I have the testing fork. And I guess I'll just try one little piece. So an initial taste, it actually it isn't that different from just regular caramelized onions. Um, the caramel that I seem to have put in it, it seems to have evaporated. Because I'm not getting a lot of that flavor. Um, do you hear that crunch? Maybe could have done it a little more in on the stove. But overall, it's not terrible. Um, way better than the onion juice that I made. Um, but it does have me kind of rethinking my life choices. Why did I do this? I don't know. Um, but yeah. Definitely. I'll, I'll be moving away from the onion related content on my channel. Um, which I think is, uh for the better. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye guys. How do I stop?